Welcome to the infection tube. Ladies, gentlemen, and microbes of all taxonomies, welcome to a very special night here at the Microbial Comedy Club. Tonight we celebrate one of our own, a true star of the gram-negative bacilli family, Eddie the Ekulai. Hi everyone, I'm Eddie the Ekulai, a charismatic rod-shaped bacterium with a flagellum for flare. Ready to dive into the microscopic world with me tonight? Great to see such a diverse crowd out there. We've got gram-positives, gram-negatives. Ah, I see my gram-negative relatives in the front row with our thin peptidoglycan layer and that stylish outer membrane. They say we're facultative anaerobes, right? I mean, we can party with or without oxygen. But let me tell you, those aerobic nights out, they just take your breath away. And folks, let's talk living arrangements. We're not too picky, inside or outside the cell, though we do prefer the cozy, nutrient-rich environments like the human intestine. Home sweet home, am I right? But let's not forget, we're sensitive souls. Some of us can't handle certain antibiotics. Ampicillin, amoxicillin, you name it. It's tough out there. And have you heard of our infamous cousin, Shiga toxin-producing E. coli? Oh boy, talk about family drama. Causes quite the stir with that toxin, not the kind of drama you want at family gatherings. But here's a secret between us. Doctors are always on the lookout for us. They've got tests, antibiotics, and even tricks like staying hydrated to keep us in check. It's a game of cat and mouse, but hey, we've got to keep things interesting, right? I've got a little gift for all of you, a mnemonic that'll help you remember the key things about us E. coli. Ready? It's great, friends, remember, lactose, defend against troubles. Let's break it down E. coli style. First up, we're great because we're gram-negative. We've got that complex cell wall that just doesn't play by the simple rules. Next, we're the best kind of friends because we're facultatively anaerobic. Oxygen or not, we know how to thrive. It's like being able to enjoy both a quiet night in and a wild night out. Remember, we're rod-shaped. It's not just about looks, it's about efficiency. Our shape makes us sleek and versatile. And we can't forget lactose. We love breaking it down. It's our party trick. Fermenting lactose like nobody's business? Defend against. It's our way of saying we're sensitive to antibiotics. It's crucial to know which ones affect us and how we interact with them. It's all about finding the right defense against these microbial challenges. And finally, the troubles. Yes, some of us can cause a bit of troubles with that Shiga toxin. But remember, it's not all of us. But wait, there's more. Beyond our troubles, we play crucial roles like synthesizing vitamin K, essential for blood clotting and bone health, and supporting gut health. We're not just about causing problems, we're vital for maintaining balance and health within human body. So there you have it. Great friends remember lactose defend against troubles. It's a quick guide to understanding us. Keep this mnemonic close and you'll always remember what makes us unique and occasionally a bit troublesome. Great, gram-negative. Friends, facultatively anaerobic. Remember, rod-shaped, lactose, lactose fermenter. Defend against, detecting antibiotic sensitivity in E. coli is crucial as it varies across strains. Troubles, troubles with Shiga toxin-producing strains. Before I go, remember, whether you're gram-positive, gram-negative, aerobic, anaerobic, intracellular, or extracellular, we've all got our roles in this microscopic world. Let's make the most of it and keep the doctors on their toes. Thank you. You've been a wonderful audience. Remember, wash your hands, cook your meat, and let's keep the comedy alive. Show some love for the smallest stars of the show by hitting that like button and subscribing to our infection tube. The Microbial Comedy Club is just a petri dish away from your next big laugh and discovery. 
Dive into the fun and learn with us.